thinking, hey, I'm saving a, a bunch of money for my business because these commercial machines cost more, right? These business grade machines cost more. Again, keep in mind what you're getting for that money. Travis, welcome back to another episode of Let's Make IT Simple. Um, today, we're going to talk about laptops and specifically, we're talking about business versus consumer laptops. And this this may be something, this may be a topic that um, initially, like right off the bat, it, it, we may wonder what what exactly are we talking about here. But uh, I'll start with a question and that'll probably clarify things. Should a business or business owner or someone who's doing purchasing for a business run down to their local uh, you know, computer supply store and buy just a normal consumer grade laptop that they see on the shelf uh, for, for business, for themselves or for their office? Yeah, no, they should not. And I want to make sure that anybody listening understands why, but no, you shouldn't do that. There's a big difference between consumer grade laptops uh, and commercial grade equipment. Um, a couple examples of the differences on these, well, without going into the details, but a couple examples of different makes or models that would be consumer or business. Uh, if you're buying Lenovo's, you should be buying ThinkPads, not Yoga's. If you're buying Dell's, you know you should be buying Latitudes, not the Inspirons. There's a there's a lot of differences between the um, you know computers and laptops that are made for business. And I just listed laptops, so those weren't desktop options. And I think today we'll mostly talk about laptops. But there's big differences between those you know business related. Uh, options and the consumer ones that I, I think we should go through today so that people understand why they should buy one over the other. Yeah, perfect. That's a great segue into the, into the next question. And so what would be the, let's, let's say the top five uh, differences that a, a business should consider when, uh, when purchasing a laptop or the differences between like a consumer grade and a business grade laptop? Yeah. So the first thing is going to be the quality of the machine business grade uh, laptops or commercial laptops, for instance, are designed to be used 40 hours a week that they know that the person who has these is using these for business. So all the components are going to be of a higher quality with more durability, right? A, a, a greater mean time to failure. Um, and you know, they're going to focus on things and features inside of those laptops, like durability, like keeping dust out, you know, uh, and, and they're going to focus on things like battery life. You know, those computers are definitely going to be geared to making sure that you can work for a full day or you can go down to the coffee shop or work on an airplane and really get some time out of that machine. Whereas your consumer grade equipment is more interested in producing, you know, high, uh, you know, high end graphics, for instance, maybe you're trying to game and they're expecting that maybe you'll be plugged in more of the time and actually utilizing the power in that machine for more recreational activities. So that's that's the first one. I'd say the second one is gonna be you know software. People don't necessarily realize this, but when you go down to Best Buy and you buy a consumer grade computer or laptop, it's gonna come generally with Windows Home on it. Windows Home Edition is not an acceptable version of the Windows operating system for a business. You may not know this, there's a pro version, right? There's actually a couple other versions of Windows, but at your office, at your business, you at least want the pro version. It's going to give uh, you access to tools that your IT professionals need to help service that machine. It's going to also allow that machine to be domain joined. And you probably have a domain in your company. You need a domain join. So if you don't do that, you might think you're, you're saving money maybe, but you're going to have to spend another hundred dollars to upgrade or a little more usually to upgrade that Windows 10, Windows 11 home edition to the pro. The other thing is there's going to be pre-installed software on the consumer version of that laptop that we call bloatware. It's it's stuff that you don't need that then your IT professional is going to have to remove. It's stuff that actually generally blo uh, bogs down the computer, makes it slower. So again, it's there's just a lot of reasons in the software. The, the third thing, warranties. Uh, you're going to get usually a one-year warranty with a consumer grade laptop or, or desktop. And it's often a mail-in warranty. So what that means is, hey, the thing's not working. Great. Put it in the mail, send it back. You don't have a computer until they fix it. So you could be out of a computer for a month, you know, uh, weeks, months, who knows? 
you, you need that in your business to work. You can't afford for that thing to be gone. Whereas with, you know, your commercial grade equipment, your business uh, equipment, they're going to have 24 hour warranties on site. People will actually come out to your place of business, you know, work on the laptop there at your desk, try to fix it uh, and try to get it work up and running as soon as possible because they understand that it's going to, it's a part of your productivity. And those warranties, again, they're usually, you know, three year, as long as five year you can actually warranty that piece of equipment. And that follows our general guideline for lifecycle management, right? After the five-year mark, it's no longer in the warranty. You'd want to replace it. But with that consumer stuff, you're usually out of warranty within the first year. Because again, they know it's not built to last. Uh, next thing is tools. That's going to be the fourth reason. Lenovo, as many people might know, because this is, uh, where, where are we? April 28th, 2022, we're recording this. Lenovo just had three major uh, critical vulnerabilities to their BIOSes in over 100 different laptops. Cool thing is Lenovo has tools for updating your BIOS, right? Doing firmware updates to your machine. If you have a consumer grade uh, laptop, you have to download that software and run it yourself for the most part or download it and have a uh, technician remote into your machine and do it for you. If you have the commercial grade, there's a, 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 a lightweight version that can silently be installed by your IT professional. They can do all this in the background. They can make it part of their ongoing maintenance to keep that firmware up to date. And they can deploy it in mass using group policy or their remote monitoring and, and uh, uh, remediation um, tool. And so there's all these really cool things you can do with your commercial equipment that you can't do because the tools don't exist for the consumer uh, great equipment. And so it's just, a, it's not built for business. And the, the fifth thing, cause yes, for five, uh, security laptops and especially laptops, but also some desktops have security built into them in ways that consumer ones don't, for instance, TPM chips. Now this is changing because windows 11 is requiring TPM everywhere, but that's a module that allowed for encryption built into the, um, uh, built into the, uh, computer that handled um, basically uh, encryption of the device automatically through that chip, okay? I don't want to get into too many details or too much of the weeds here, but on commercial-grade equipment, that was a standard. Consumer-grade equipment, that was an option sometimes. The other thing is like biometrics, having a thumb print reader or making sure your camera can do facial recognition uh, for like Windows Hello. Those are going to be things that you're going to see in your commercial equipment and not in your consumer equipment. So sorry for going on so long there, but that was, there were five, five major things. No worries, Travis. Thanks. I, I know that's uh, quite a, uh, you know, a lengthy list, but it, those are all important things. Um, each one of those five factors uh, are important things for a business to consider. Uh, but I know there's some other factors as well. Um, so what are some other things besides uh, th those top five things? What are maybe some other things that aren't, necessarily as important, but may be, uh, may be important to a business owner that they should keep in mind as well. Well, I'll tell you that there's a couple other things that come up all the time when people are choosing what, what specifically I'm going to talk about laptops again, to get attractiveness as one of them, right? So you, you go and you see a laptop and you think it looks cool. You're like, the screen looks, I love the way the screen looks. I love the keyboard. It looks awesome. It's probably a consumer laptop because let's be honest, that's who's getting targeted by the flashy, you know, looks and designs on these things. Um, but I will say this, that uh, the commercial grade equipment is getting better. Uh, it still doesn't look as cool because they're not putting as much effort into attracting students and stuff like, you know, youthful, you know, you know, uh, people to, to look at this thing and go, Hey, can I get this for, for when I go to school? Um, but there's, this is a big draw. And this is why I think business owners a lot of times have a hard time is if they let their employees go out and pick whatever they want, they're not picking their laptop necessarily based on what it's going to do for their productivity. They might just be buying it cause it's cool. So that's one thing to consider. Um, you know, and you're going to usually have like glossy screens on a consumer, uh, laptop because you're going to be watching movies, playing video games and stuff. Whereas on your consumer grade, uh, you're going to get things like matte screens. Generally, it's not a you can usually you can change it up in some models, but it's going to often default to a matte screen because you're making the assumption you're you're on a plane, you're at Starbucks, you're at home, you're traveling, you're working on the go, and you don't always have perfect conditions. And you're looking at spreadsheets and emails, not necessarily 4K, you know, movies, but 
some the cool thing is today some of the some of the commercial equipment you can do that too docking stations right your commercial laptops are going to be built to uh accept a docking station which is very very important in business you know you need a place to sit down plug your laptop in maybe connect multiple monitors have a bunch of additional usb ports other peripherals they're going to be ready to handle that and have docking stations that they recommend for those machines whereas on the consumer side although it is possible to add docking stations oftentimes to consumer equipment it's not always available and it's not always you know something that's um thought of for those computers the other thing is cost and this is a big one. This is, you know, as a business owner, you might be attracted to the lower cost machines, which are these consumer grade machines thinking, hey, I'm saving a, a bunch of money for my business because these commercial machines cost more, right? These business grade machines cost more. But again, keep in mind what you're getting for that money. Five-year warranties, three, at least three year, if not five-year warranties higher quality components that don't break. They last the five years. They get you to that end of that uh, life cycle. Okay. You're going to get the uh, software that you're supposed to have installed on that machine the first time. You're not going to have to spend that extra hundred dollars to get the pro version of Windows, right? In the long run, it's going to have the right tools available to administer this device. It's going to have better security. All the things we already listed off, you, you are paying a little bit more but you're getting more, you know, and in the long run, I would say this actually is at least a break even if not a cost savings to your organization. So these are going to be a couple more things that you have to consider, but there is a difference. It does matter. Uh, and you should be buying the, the business grade equipment in your business. I was, I was laughing to myself because when you said the, uh, <laughs> the prettier version for the consumer version, it made me think of, you know, the, the hacker movies, whenever you see a hacker, like, you know, grab his laptop out of his, his bag, it always looks like, like a brick sandwich, like two bricks sitting on top of each other. And he's <laughs> yes. just like, yeah. you know, typing away at it. But, um, but yeah, that, that look <laughs> doesn't necessarily appeal to, uh, to a college student who's, you know, spending a lot of their time focused on, on, on maybe how they're pro projecting themselves. Um, but well, yeah, <laughs> go ahead. This is why so many people buy Mac. Yeah. This is why so many people buy Macs, right? They're gorgeous. And, and not to knock on Mac, Mac has got some great, cool stuff, right? But from a business perspective, they're more challenging. We've talked about that in the past, right? They're not as easy to implement into a business environment, but they look awesome. This is also why Microsoft has come out with the surface line, right? Because they want us now compete with Mac and make prettier, cooler looking <laughs> things. So, you know, we are human. And at the end of the day, there's that part of us that's like, yeah, this computer does what I need, but that one looks so cool. To that, I would say talk to your MSP because there are solutions that do uh, bridge the gap there. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a brick sandwich. But, you know, and, and for those of us who want to go in the coffee shop and, you know, have a slow motion, uh, you know, slow-mo every time they pull their laptop out of their bag dramatically. Yeah, people go, what's that? <laughs> like, ooh, yeah. does that, that thing must, fly? Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, but uh, It's got all the Bluetooth. <laughs> all of them. All of them. So, awesome. So, those are some great things to keep in mind. Thank you, Travis, um, for, for covering that for us. And, again, an important topic because, like you said, some business owners may not even realize that this is a thing. So uh, important stuff. Let's break it down. Let's let's make IT simple. 30 seconds or less, Travis. We're talking about laptops, business versus consumer. What are some things that a business should keep in mind? Just remember that you're running a business and the, you know, business quality laptops, the commercial quality are for you. They're they're better quality. They run the right software. They've got the right warranties. They come with commercial tools, better security. Uh, they handle docking stations. They're really meant to help your organization. So those are the ones you should be buying. Excelente. I like it, man. Good stuff. It's easy. Easy peasy, Georgia Weezy. <laughs> Ring the bell. <laughs> <laughs>